Manhattan, another transgender has been arrested in the fatal shooting of his neighbor. But there's definitely no mental illness going on here. Hats off to Pride Month. If this is a tragedy, one that's made far worse by the vicious exploitation that's being carried out by Victor as he continues to repeat information he's been fed by the Gateway Pundit. Because Victor and his employer want to push a narrative that baits you into believing that this person's gender identity had anything to do with their criminal actions. So much so that the Gateway Pundit is paying Victor to frame these news in a manner that implies a relationship between gender identity mental illness and criminal behavior when in fact to date there are zero motives for these horrific events but once again victor decides to push a fabricated narrative that puts an additional target on the back of an already marginalized group of people because it's propaganda like that that fuels blind rage and violence that makes transgender people four times more likely than cisgender people to be victims of violent crimes you know what victor let's follow your thread and logic if it's true that we can just pick a trait and link it to criminal behavior, then I want to remind you and your employer that this happened at the hands of a Trump-backed politician. What does that exactly tell us about GOP candidates that are favored by Trump? Also, this happened, Victor. And by the way, this behavior did not deter GOP voters from choosing this man as their GOP candidate. And then, of course, there's this little GOP gem. What type of conclusion should we draw from this, Victor? I wonder if, just like you did, we should start drawing conclusions between GOP candidates and a specific type of behavior that can only be associated with mental illness. And by the way, we can narrow that circle even further because by using your logic, we can draw a relationship between being employed at the Gateway Pundit and a specific type of behavior. Conclusions we can draw from events like this, where a Gateway Pundit employee was arrested for assaulting a woman. Or from news like this, where a guy by the name of Lucian Wintreicht, who also works at the Gateway Pundit, was arrested for, you guessed it, assaulting another human being. But aside from all that, Victor, let me remind you that uh, promoting the idea that a group of people, by the very fact that they belong to that group, is more likely to engage in criminal behavior is a part of a process called dehumanization. And that was promoted in Germany and in Italy in the early to mid 1930s. And it targeted specific religions, specific races, and you guessed it, specific sexual preferences. Victor, you get to choose what side of history you want to be on. Choose carefully.